Geralt. Found something that might belong to you. That skull some sort of accessory? If so, you've changed your style a bit. It's a weapon. Don't remember ever seeing you with that? It's as you said. I've changed my style. Ever think about the past? About your time with the hunt? At times, I'm amazed we survived. Eridan's not usually one to leave witnesses behind. That's just it. He didn't. Lost my memory when I escaped the hunt. Ah, yes. Your famous amnesia. You didn't have it? For a short time only. Once the Emperor's mages got their hands on me, my memory quickly returned. When the hunt had you, hope they didn't hurt you. Even if they did, I've no memory of it. The whole time's but a string of phantom images. Blood and fire. A wild chase through different worlds. All shrouded in fog. Though I do remember you coming for me. Trading your life for mine. I hadn't the chance to thank you then. You'd have done the same for me. I'm touched by your certainty. But you've yet to tell me how you escaped them. Wouldn't mind knowing that myself. There are times I remember rushing forward, red riders around me. Next thing I know, I'm in the woods at the foot of Kaer Morin. That's it. What did Aridin want from you exactly? The same thing he wanted from you. You don't recall? Draw a blank on most of my time with them. We were bait, Geralt. Both of us. Aridin believed Ciri would come for us sooner or later and he would capture her. Fortunately, she didn't fall for it. How do you go from being the Emperor's hostage to being his ally? One day, the door of my cell opened, and instead of seeing the usual officer, I saw Emir. He promised to release me and grant me free reign of the Imperial Treasury, provided I did what he asked. He told you about Ciri, and you accepted his offer. Why? Shared aims make for strange bedfellows. I knew I had to find Ciri before Eridan did, and if any man had the power and the means to help me, it was the Emperor. Besides, once all said and done, he is her father. Why didn't you look for me, after you'd recovered your memory and your freedom? I assumed you would recover quickly and find me first. You had mages to help you. I was on my own. Well, not entirely. Besides, I knew you'd fled the hunt. Eridan would never have let you go. He'd erased my memory, but you escaped. It was wholly possible he hadn't had the chance with you. And there were your Witcher mutations. I expected they'd stave off any serious injury. Still can't get something out of my mind. What? So... Feel any different after our encounter with the Jinn? Yes. Now I feel... regret. Mean to say that... That I regret we didn't try that earlier. Much earlier. Think we would have argued less? Quite the opposite. But the other moments would have been more intense as well. Moments like this. Thanks, Yen. See you later.
off in A4, they got him down. Everyone was saying. Spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the gate. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me. Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come, Krakowitz. Got me eye on you. Follow me. What's this? That's uh, adornment. Hey. So you're back. Was right, wasn't I? Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. So long. Interested in the weapon? There's a tale behind every item I've got. What are you... I think I have something that was meant for you. A letter from me mom. Says here me sis was bringing it. How'd you come by it? Came across some bodies in the woods. Victims of a monster attack. Found this letter on one of the dead. A woman. Sing is dead. Ah. Told her and mom so many times. Come over. Live with me. No. I had to stay on Pharaoh. I gotta send someone to fetch your body. I'm sorry. Thanks for bringing word. Not every man will go to the trouble. Here, take this.
Right, but as you do. And I'd expect you to support me, not pinch my allies. If an aunt crates to wear the crown, it should be you, because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the yarls just might listen to you. Aren't your mug smacked? Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilcards with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Oh, stop your shite boasting! Ceres! Hey! Ah, damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her. She's so. so. Well, stubborn, fierce, mule headed. Refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Armvald. Me and Ceres, we're near twins in that regard. <laughs> Don't see cry. You talking to the Arls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witch, or perhaps you'd fancy some fisticuffs with the Vilcarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking. This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where boats are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not gonna vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellig has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true-born son, and then on to his sons. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Jarls will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. May I? You must even come. I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, a hackamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. In the Isles, mead and meat stand to gain you as much support as feats accomplished blade in hand. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote will turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children's heads. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean do I have a favorite? Nay. <laughs> They're as different as fire and water. But on great blood flows in both. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? Then yes, he's too hot-headed. 
But Skelliger wants a different ruler. The kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalva. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skelliger, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, before, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one... Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. Hold on, son. You'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugas, and now you threaten my son. I will not stand for this. Dad, come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabbit dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives, but we can, we must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring.
Find the guilty on crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Damn it. Things have sure gotten messy. That's putting it mildly. We've clues to examine, things to consider. We must find out how this came to be, elsewise we... We've no time for that. I know where to find the guilty. Wait? Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yards aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the trailer's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. And suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them. I promise. Know who died? Drogadar, Dragborn Du, Blue Boy Lugos, Yalborn, Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. I heard you helped Lugos, as you helped me with the Haim. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. We've talked enough, let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? Pull yourself together. Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. Autrig. Shit. No more than a kid. Bodies massacred. Hard to tell who it is. Stingrim, maybe? Turn back around. Saw a bear So many wounds. No wonder he all born bled to death. Maybe they're punishing us. For what? You're talking rubbish. Dragadar. Skald's played his last. Young Lugos. Bears took him by surprise. Didn't have a chance to defend himself. So the tales are true. Warriors in battle frenzy transformed into wild beasts. Berserkers. But how did they come to be here? All right. What do we have here? Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Mouth smells of honey liqueur, mead, and something else, something earthy. Bears like honey, before it's fermented. Strange. Something under the fur, a tattoo, shape of a bear paw. Old scar, looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. 
No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. All the horns are empty. Bowl at each table. Mead in this one. And only mead. Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards mushrooms? Bowls empty. But the scent's in the air. Coming from... Somewhere else in this room. Best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom. And... human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The skull's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm-hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood, and something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. Sea swallow the traitors. Freer, Our Lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said. Give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Mardrom. Mardrome related in any way to berserkers? Aye, but only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Mardrome were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage, but as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Ceres wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind, soothe it, summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways, initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Mardrum. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silasaib, I believe. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I help prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on. We could find some clues there.
We must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castles are close already. Think they'd attack Krak openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Friends we show heart, foes we show Something our eyes. Something I've always wondered. Remember that. What do you witchers do once there are no basilisks? Knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvald said the same. For a feast to be any good, meat's gotta flow. But so does blood. I'd say he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar is doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. <coughs> the stench! Is that vodka? Mahakaman spirit. Someone ruined several barrels of the finest. Good thing Dad's got other worries at his mi- Right behind you. That's a relief. Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the- Shit. The spirit! Too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Quick. <coughs> God, we might have been burned alive. Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. This is a secret passage. One rarely used, more like. When Yalmar and I were little, we'd play here. Once, ah, bygone days. Medallion's humming. Place of power, it's gotta be. I get my hands on that pyromaniac. Let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, <laughs> but I have no witcher sense at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. Sticky from the mead. Trail 
breaks off. Need to find another clue nearby, something else to follow. Must have felt his clothing rip, but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No, it can't be. What is it? Arnfeld's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. Chase him down. Come on, Roach. Iron Bolt! Stop, damn it! Doubt he'll listen. When I get my hands on him. Let's dance. You don't stand a chance. Where to see you, Bart Knight? That's it, Roach. Why'd you betray them? Talk, or I'll finish what I started. No on crate should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skelliger needs stability. A strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea, but I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? You were never a good liar, Arnvald. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander or clan in the process. If she succeeded, Svanriga would have been left. The only claimant to Skellige's throne. We need proof. Your word against Berna's? That's not enough. Anvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the maid. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Saris on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Boona Brands. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison mead to the Berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. Twas your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. Zerus speaks true. Bernard commanded me to poison the maid. When Cyrus and the Witcher descended into the cellars, you betrayed us. The clam that took you in! Good man. He's a servant to Oncreat, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Burner speaks true. Arnvald has served a care trolder ever since I remember. Loyally, look a dog. I can vouch for Cyrus. She's telling the truth. Ye. Yet another uncreate lucky. Did Cyrus entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Crack paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher. More than I do you. You've that right. But it's no proof of my guilt. Got one more piece of evidence. A letter from Bernard to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the mead. 
It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked to the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Burn is right, Saras. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalmar also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crete will face. You're making a big mistake. Silence, Wanderer. Wait! Brother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. You gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. The massacre was her doing. She shamed herself, me, the family, the clan. Svanrika, I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Creep. And you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. When I had a lust for power, I knew this, but so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'd lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile. Or death. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again? No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinate, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? We'll get the nod. Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse, to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. Just in time. They've already started. Well, long ago, we gave King Bran back to the sea. Today, our morning ends. Today, by the grace of the gods and the clans, a new ruler takes the crown. Let us swear her fealty. I know some would see another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. 
And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! Ceres!